Here's a quick and easy way to create a bar chart within Google Sheets uh, when you are working with your SLO clusters. Uh, over here on the left side, I have my student scores and I've already broken them into clusters and have color coded them using my fill color. Uh, now the trick is taking these scores and turning them into a bar chart that has colors on it to indicate your different cluster breakpoints. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is click and select just my data starting from the three up here and all the way down to 30. Then I'm going to go to insert chart. Within this option I'm going to click specifically on chart types and I'm going to scroll down until I see the column chart. Now here's the part that makes this um, able to break into different clusters. This option right here which is switch rows and columns will actually break apart each of your pieces of data into its own uh, color. Uh, and then we're going to go into customization so that we can further customize those colors. Uh, this customization uh, menu really has everything that you need to be able to fill out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in my title here. And uh, I'm going to get rid of this legend because the legend has all the different colors that are meaningless for clusters. I'm going to uh, further go down here and look at my different axes. Uh, this is my horizontal axes, so these are my clusters. And then down here where it says series, this is really where, really where I want to be able to change the color of my different uh, bars. So I have the option here to make changes to all my columns or to every single column uh, individually. I'm going to click on all columns here first to add my data labels and you'll see it colors those automatically to match the different colors. You can leave it that way uh, so that as you change your different cluster colors, they'll, they'll change that color uh, or you can go in and make them all black. Uh, I like to change the font size a little bit smaller so I can actually read uh, what those are rather than having them overlap. And now here's where the work goes in and you can start looking at your different columns uh, and clusters. I'm going to click on column one, which coordinates to my first student up here, which is red. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to be red. And I'm going to continue to go ahead and add the colors to each of these different columns that coordinate or correspond to a different uh, cluster. So I've got four clusters up here that are red. So my first four are red. Then I'm going to look at my next uh, five, and those are all orange. So starting at column five that is orange and so on and so forth all the way until you are done matching the color of your bars to the color of your clusters. So now here as I'm going through I'm at the end of my 19th column and I'm ready to go into my purples but if you look I can't quite get into uh, be, to be able to select my next column just because I've run out of room here. So if that happens to you you can move this up to give yourself as much room as you can or once I have gotten as much as I can on here, I can go to the other way to change column colors. And that is to go ahead and insert this. And I can actually directly click on these columns and go ahead and finish them up. So I'm gonna click on here and get the option and I can change the colors of each column from here as well. So that you can actually change those from two different settings. The original setting uh, when you're setting up your graph or you can do it right from here where I'm gonna change these remaining ones here into purple. Uh, then from this menu, I can also go in and if I need to get in and change some of my different uh, menus, I can do all of that from right on here. If I click over here on the left side, uh, I'm gonna right click, go to axes, left vertical, and that's where I can type that in. This one would be student scores. Uh, if I need to adjust any of these, I can click on the titles here and there. And if I need to get back into that setting, I can right click and that was called advanced edit. And that will bring you right back to the same menu where you can work with all these different customizations and chart types. Hopefully that'll help you create a cluster chart for your SLO.